In this video, I'm going to explain what do you need to do with the weak force exercises. The first question is, in the first page, you're given examples of how to do the dimensioning. For example, how to do the angular dimensioning and mark the pitch circle and the angle between the holes and how do you do the radius with the prefix R? How do you do the chamfer, and etc. What you need to do is to copy these dimensions across to the second page. You may not need to copy exactly the same, but you need you should use the same practice. These are common practice you need to follow when you're doing the dimensioning. And in the following exercises, you have chance to do the dimensioning, to draw the pitch circle, draw the center lines across the holes. You have a chance to do the dimensioning by giving a ratio between the hole in the middle and the number to work out the others. You have a chance to do the dimensioning on the section view, and you have a chance to find the missing dimensions on this drawing. For the exercise 4.6 and 4.7, you have a chance to produce orthographic views first based on the isometric view. And this is a black view, isometric view. And then join drawings based on the scale here, based on the rules of isometric view and a black view. Move on. For the 4.8, you just need to add dimensions here based on your measurements. The next two exercises are the one you need to add the part list. They are drawings, but they are not component drawings. They are assembly drawings. So you need to add the balloons as well as part list. The last one is about terms. You need to use the skills learned in the class to calculate the tolerance, upper and lower limits. That is what you need to do for the wake force drawing exercise. That's it for this video.